Okay, so I'm not usually here during the day because I work second shift. Um, I'm here at work. We have a very large warehouse. All of this property is built over limestone and there's a lot of limestone quarries in this area. The area was known for some heat mills. I know I'm panning really fast, but if you look, I don't know if you can see them now, but back on the, by that stop sign, there's a huge sinkhole that opened, opened up during the rainstorm. So, um, but this sinkhole was big enough to like swallow up at least a car. Um, we've seen coals open up like at least once a month since I started 10 months ago. Um, just, oh, they're waiting for me. Darn it. So, this isn't going to be the video I wanted it to be. So, if you look over by those cones, there's this, at this stop sign. On either side of the green median, there's a bunch of sinkholes. There are sinkholes in the middle of the parking lot that have been filled in, some filled in several times. But then if you look, this was the newest one. And the only reason, and they, they had to put a ridiculous amount of stuff. But you can see all the black pieces in the uh, parking lot. But this is why I'm concerned about a property right around the corner, which I'm going to try and show you as well. Um, it's called Dutch Springs, and it's an old quarry that is now a scuba diving facility. It's been a scuba diving for, facility for years. Uh, they put a, a swim park and a aerial, like, uh, rope course and stuff in there, and I have no problem with that. Uh, people have died in the quarry, even though it's now, like, an actual amusement park, for lack of a better um, thing, but it's pretty much one of the few places in this area for, like, the, I mean, states, many, many states where you can get your scoop practice deep diving, scuba diving, um, without going out to an ocean. So, uh, they use it a lot for training. So, um, but the owners are retiring because they've been in the business for like 40 years and uh, they want to build new warehouses over there. Now, this property is what? Probably three quarters of a mile away. When driving, I have a very skewed perception of how far a mile is. Um, but you'll see, I'm gonna show you in a minute how close it is. If we have sinkholes that bad up here, what is that land around that quarry going to be? And they have a plan to build not one, not two, but three warehouses on that property. Now granted, I'm sure they're going to place them somewhere around the quarry. It's not even, I don't even think it'd be possible to fill the quarry, but quarries are filled with water. They naturally get filled with water because the when you take the limestone out, it's very soft and the water table rises up through it, I suppose. I'm just talking out my butt on this one. I grew up in an area with slate quarries, which is about 20 miles from here. So this is the main road. So in the list of our warehouse. So when we get to the end of our warehouse, and I'm leaving my employer out of this, but that's not important. Um, but then we have this speak in the sign, and right on the other edge of these trees is where you have this property, this Dutch Springs property, where they want to put three more warehouses. And to prove my point, there's an old cement uh, property that is now part of a landfill system or something. I don't know, a transfer station. So um, my concern is if we have sinkholes that bad, what's going to happen to them? 